how to add an HTML code on Google site. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate some embed codes like HTML, CSS and etc codes into your Google sites. These codes could be for example integrations from other websites such as Canva, such as a widget from offsite and some calendars like Calendly you can go ahead and implement them and etc. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Google Sites or sites.google.com. Then you're going to select the website that you want to implement that integration or add the HTML code on it. So for example, we are going to use our news site right there and we are going to add it right here. So we are going to see through the website. Now we are going to uh, add the embed code. You are going to see here at the insert. So you are going to click on embed and then we have two options. Either you are going to embed that code by URL for certain uh, users or certain platforms will provide you only with a URL such as Canva for implementing designs. And also we have the second options which is setting an embed code or an entire code. This could, could be a iframe, uh, for example, to set up a frame that will showcase that specific, um, uh, let's say here, a code or a widget or something like that. The iframes would be available, for example, from Figma or a lot of platforms or integrations. So now, once you have uh, added the embed, we need the URL or the embed code. Now let's start by the URL. So I'm going to visit Canva here. Then I will go ahead and set up a design. So let's see here that we are going to add a design, maybe like that. And then this design is going to be shared. How we are going to share that design? Simple. We're going to make sure that we have finished our design and this design, when we are going to add it, it should be right here added as let's say some slides or some uh, PowerPoint slides onto the, uh, the website because here it will only get to work for a few actions because this is just a design. So we are going to click on share. Then we are going to click on see all. After that, we are going to sit here embed. Now we are going to click on embed. And here uh, we have the HTML embed code. And also we have the smart embed link. So Canva has added the HTML embed code. Finally, you can either go ahead and add the HTML embed code and also the smart embed link. So I'm going to use the smart embed link, which is the URL copy it, go ahead right there and add it by URL, paste it. So here it can embed you to provide a site permission will display as a text link. So here Canva will demand, uh, as I can see permission. So we are going to add it like this. It has added as a uh, website view. So I don't need that. I'm going to try it from Calendly. So let's go here to Calendly. Then we are going to choose, for example, an appointment. I'm going to turn it in this on, for example, or I'm going to share this. So we have the share link, as you can see, or we can add it to our website. So we have here the uh, share link. So we have the URL, click on copy, go ahead here, hit analyze and boom. So you are going to see here the preview and the whole page. You're going to set up here the whole page, of course, and then we are going to add it. So as you can see here, we have added the URL and it has uh, made the whole page accessible. So if you want to uh, see that if it works or not, obviously it will work. You're going to publish it and also preview the website from here. Now, once we have uh, finished with that, we're going to add a embed code. So right there, we're going to uh, set up, for example, not Canva and also not Calendly, but I'm going to set up a widget. 
So let's go ahead to our site. Then we are going to search from the widget. So we are going maybe to set up a feed for Instagram. Now we are going to head over the feed of Instagram, as you can see here. And then we should create our widget for free. So our widget is already created and I will go ahead and view the widget. So now I am going simply to edit the widget first before adding it to the website. You are going to set up here the tag of the Instagram that you own or the source. You can go ahead and add an account or a hashtag, for example. So if I want to add a hashtag, I'm going simply to set up here hashtag iPhone, for example, 16. So we are going to search. And then you are going to see the hashtag as it is. So right there, you are going to click on done. This is the source. Here we have the layout, as you can see. And here we have two types. Either it is a grid like that, or it is a slider. You can customize the columns and rows, header, slider, setting, and feed title. For the posts, you're going to set up here or uh, make sure that the likes will appear or the like counts will appear, comments count, texts, and etc. We have some post style right there. As you can see, you can customize only two. This is a, a highlight. Also, this is a snippet, I think, or a post itself. So we are going to see here the styles. Can go ahead and uh, put here the color scheme and change it as much as you want. For example, like that, like that, or yellowish. So I would like to add it as dark. You can customize the header, the post, the arrows, and etc. And finally, the language. When you finish, you are going to click on publish. Here we have published it. Now we are going to click on install. So here we have two, two options, which is the first one. Uh, embed code and the second one is the share link or the URL. So in this case, I will go ahead and add the embed code. Go back right there to Google Sites. Now we need only to paste that code by pressing Control V or we have only to set paste like that. Now we are going to click on next. We are going to see here a little preview. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it is not. We're going to insert it. And you're going to see the magic right there. So here we have it. And boom. Now we have added the uh, embed. So we are going simply to add here for the global news. This is the page and this is the news page. I'm going to try in and add here the section. So we're going to add a new link. Not a new link, but we are going to add. For example, here, let's say on this page, we're going to insert. And from here, we are going to select embed. So let me here change the website. So we are going to open up the restaurant, for example. And from here, we are going to add something else. So I had already an integration from uh, uh, F site already. So I'm going to click on embed again embed code what i am going to add is here the design of canva that it didn't work from the first time i'm going to copy this html code and try it right there here we are going to insert it and see so this is it it is working so we are going to make it full screen like that so as you can see, it is working as a presentation with the slides and everything. So this is very cool. Now for this one, I'm going to click on publish to make sure that everything will go well. This is the currently uh, published and this is the draft. We're going to change it. Uh, now I'm going to view the website. So this is the first one and normally we are going to see here the design of Canva. Here it is. 
This is the second uh, presentation, third one. Boom. Right there. So if you want to see it in Canva, you can go ahead and share it or uh, see it right there for checking the account. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.